first thing I noticed about the wine. It's pleasant. It has a nice sort of mid-palate intensity to it. I don't think this wine is dry. I think this wine has a little bit of sugar left in it. Maybe about a half a percent by weight. And that half a percent gives it a really broad, sort of nice mouthfeel. In general, wine geeks like to say they like their wines bone dry, but generally a wine with a little bit of sugar will be more popular with a crowd. So I would say this would be a great wine to serve to your guests out on the porch when they first arrive at your party with some cheese. It's got some nice body, it's got some nice intensity, uh, pretty good acid. Now remember, acid in the wine, you'll taste sort of on the sides of your tongue and in the back of your mouth, is what you need when you, when you have this wonderful cheese in front of you. If you pay attention, try the Sauvignon Blanc, then eat a little bit of the cheese, then try the wine again and see what happens with the combination of the cheese flavors and the wine. What you should notice is the acidity of the wine, the structure of the wine, should be moderated. You'll notice it doesn't seem as sharp and acidic with the cheese in your mouth. And that is exactly what wine is supposed to do with food. Wine is supposed to cleanse your palate. I call a good white wine or a Sauvignon Blanc is like a wet nap for your mouth. You know what I would love this wine with? Barbecue ribs. And it sounds crazy. Why would you put a white wine with barbecue ribs? Because it has acidity, enough acidity to really strip my mouth clean of all that sticky ribby sauce and all the fat. So the fat is going to fight with the acid in my mouth and sort of make a story of flavor. I was an English major, so I'd like to talk about, you know, stories of flavor. And I like a wine that takes me someplace.